Hello and welcome back to Supply Chain Weekly, brought to you by Sphere Management, your source for all supply chain and logistics news. My name is John and today is Monday, June 12th. This week we've got stories from FedEx and UPS, some battery powered vehicles, and some self-driving farm equipment. Let's get right to it. For our first story of the day, imagine you're playing Monopoly and your best friend decides to buy Boardwalk two turns after you buy Park Place. That's what's just happened here. Within the next few years, Interstate 20 in Arlington, Texas will become home to two massive distribution centers. FedEx and UPS, which are two of the largest private carriers in North America, will share a backyard as they try to keep up with the rapidly expanding e-commerce market. In other UPS news, the carrier is expanding to Latin America with the opening of a 76,000 square foot facility near Bogota, Colombia. This investment will strengthen UPS's global reach as well as healthcare logistics in South America. Next up, we have Los Angeles Sanitation and Wayne Engineering, who have successfully demonstrated a battery electric refuse truck. The truck drove 108 miles per day for months and showed that municipal waste haulers could operate and thrive with a zero emission solution. This is great news in terms of larger electric vehicles, since batteries have lacked the necessary heavy duty firepower until now. And for our final story of the day, Volvo is helping out Brazilian sugarcane farmers with a new self-driving truck controlled by gyroscopes and GPS. The truck can stay within millimeters of the intended route and will greatly improve farming efficiency. This is our current state of automation. Humans are not losing jobs quite yet. Computers are simply making them easier. This has been Supply Chain Weekly, brought to you by Sphere Management, your source for all supply chain and logistics news. If you liked any of today's stories, make sure you check out the links in the description for more details. Like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.